Yeah, we back now. Yesterday, I dropped a video entitled The Reason Why Black Women Should Get Married. And in that video, I ran down the reasons why, you know, because there's this running narrative on social media that, oh, the most the most happy demographic of women are single women. Oh, you know, single women. Oh, they're, they're the happiest and they live the best life and they get to travel and they got the most money. And, and I pretty much debunked it. I was like, uh, no. No, actually, married women have the highest net worth, the highest household income, the highest median household wealth. Just, you know, the, the married couples got all the goddamn money. You know, the married couples, all the wealth is concentrated in the hands of families up at the top. OK, single people, they can't compete with the married people. The richest and most powerful men in the world, they're usually all married. And the richest, most powerful women in the world, they are usually the wives and the daughters of rich men. You know, they didn't they didn't make their wealth by, you know, going to school and working 30 years. You know, they, they made their money because they, they had a rich father, a rich husband, a rich granddaddy. And yeah, that, that's what it is. All right. The family structure in that video, I explained that the family structure is actually an economic vehicle for women. And when you crunch the numbers, their median wealth, their household wealth, it skyrockets once they get married compared to single women. Listen, married women, they blowing them out the water, man. So that's why I made that video, you know, and another thing, too. This one lady came into my comment section and she was like, oh, you know, the women, the women, we want to get married. We, we understand the importance of marriage. It's the men. It's the men that don't want to get married. It's the men that don't understand the importance of marriage. Now, I'm not going to get into that because there are more black men married than black women. And black women are usually the ones that always talk about, oh, it's a village. Like, remember when Dr. Umar said that? You know, random black men are supposed to step up and and, you know, be the big brother to kids who don't got no father. Now, me during that whole fiasco, when I made videos about it, I said I was I was saying the same message. I always say I was preaching the family structure. If the family structure was intact, you wouldn't have to depend on no random man in the street. You wouldn't have to outsource anything. The men in your family should be the first line defense against anything that you need. You know, so that's that's what I'm always going to say. I'm always going to say, listen, go to your family. Are the men in your family holding it down for you? So why do you need to outsource that? The men of your family should be the ones responsible for everything that you need. And I'm going to still stand on that. And a lot of women don't like when I say that. When I say, listen, go to your family. Go to your goddamn family. Why can you not depend on the men in your family? A lot of women get triggered when I say that. But I'm going to still stand on that. I'm going to still stand on that. Because a lot of problems will be solved if you would just go to your goddamn family. <laughs> you know, I mean, I hold it down for the women in my family. So why can't the men in your family hold it down for you? That's, that's how I see the world right now this lady hopped on social media she said this take a look up on the screen y'all may hate me for this but she believes that a healthy community or a village is more important than two parent households right and this is a this mindset is very common among young women right and that's why i tell you brothers you have to vet the mindset of the woman that you are dealing with i know we always talk about we got to avoid the swirlers and the divesters but you also got to avoid women who do not understand the the value of the family structure women who downplay the value of the family structure women who believe that single life is actually more beneficial than married life or embracing a family structure model if she doesn't have that mindset compatible with you disqualify her bro disqualify her whenever i hear women talking all this oh it's, it's a village and she be trying to downplay the family structure bro i know you some trash I, I i know your mindset is some garbage so brothers you have to avoid women with this mindset women who downplay the importance of the family structure avoid them bro avoid them they're not going to be fit to be a matriarch for your family they're not going to be fit to be a wife and mother to your children just treat her as what she is man you know the late the late night slide on friday night when you drunk and you just want to have a good time and you go back to the women that actually have their head on straight now let's let's look at the reactions on social media this person said at the top but what type of households should make up the village exactly like i always say on my channel a community is nothing but a collection of families that's why i never really take a woman serious when she starts talking all this village talk because when when a woman in the modern day is talking all this village talk what she really means is I just want to be able to give I just want to be able to have a baby with anybody and pass it off pass off the responsibility off to anybody else you know that that's all it is remember in a video yesterday remember in a video yesterday we spoke about that one dude who had six baby mamas right six baby mamas six different women lined up to reproduce this man's genetics and this dude had no place to stay he had no job he was homeless he was just a bum but six different women lined up to reproduce this man's genetics. Do you think the family structure was, was important to them? Do you think, oh, is this man going to be a good father? Do you think that was running through their mind? No, no, because in the back of their mind, well, you know, we got the village. You know, the, the village will hold it down. You know, the village is supposed to do it. You know, forget the family structure. It's about the village. But guess what? They don't know the family structure is the foundation of the village. Now, let's continue. 
On the second tweet, the person said, I'm going to just summarize it. They basically said the nuclear family was constructed because it is the most capitalist efficient structure. And the person responded to him and said, the nuclear family is the bare bones component for a healthy environment for children. Children need both parents because a dad may not necessarily know what a girl needs and vice versa. If you try to build a village without the nuclear family as a baseline, you'll find the women will greatly outnumber the men, outweigh the men, and without any good male father figures, boys become more antisocial because let's face it, most women don't know what boys need. Let's continue. This person said, I believe a healthy village is a byproduct of healthy two-parent households, but that's just me though. This person said, the village comes from the nuclear families. You and your two homegirls with kids is not a community or a village. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Because in their mind, you know, when they talk about a village, that's what they mean. They mean like a, a bunch of single moms collaborating, you know, uh, coexisting together in the same space where the women are the leaders of the community that are, you know, raising up the children. And it's not it's not a bunch of men around because they probably procreated with a bunch of men who didn't fit any characteristics of a good father in the beginning in the first place anyway. So they procreated with a bunch of men who were not fit to be a father right so now in their mind we got to create this village of like women this like female centered village where we all raise our kids together because we all chose bums for fathers now let's continue the only difference between one and the other is you don't have to deal directly with the man with as much rights to the child as you she don't want both because that would mean a man would have equal say this is the 2023 version of i don't need no man exactly exactly bro exactly that's why that's why when that lady came into my comment section talking about oh oh the women we we understand the importance of family and we understand the importance of marriage man be quiet be quiet y'all been y'all been preaching y'all been preaching the benefits of single independent life for years now since i was a young boy since i was in diapers i've been hearing this single independent garbage all right so don't come around now i'm a grown man talking about oh yeah you know we always appreciated family we always appreciated the family structure man that lady came into my comment section lying last night man lying lying but that's why I had to make that video yesterday and crunch the numbers, okay? Married households, two-parent households, they have the highest concentration of wealth. And these single uh these single uh women households, they are at the bottom of the economic hierarchy. Among all races, single women, they have the least amount of money, okay? They have the least amount of money. And, and the households led by men alongside their wives, they have the most amount of money. They have the most financial cushion. They have the most savings. They have the most investments. They have the most businesses. They have the most property. They, they, have, the, they have the nicest cars. They have the biggest houses. I mean, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. It's just a fact of life. It's a fact of life, man. That single independent shit gonna get you nowhere, all right? It's the married women that got all the goddamn money. Now, let's continue. This person said... Healthy two-parent households create healthy communities. Where do you think the uncles, the aunties, and the cousins, and the godmother, and the godfathers come from? When you can't create healthy two-parent homes, how can you create a community? Now, now, going back to, uh, remember when Dr. Umar said that random black men, you know, in the village gotta come and, and be the mentor and big brother? I remember I had said, where is the men in the family? The village already exists. The uncles and the, and the godfathers and the granddaddies and, and, the, and the big brothers and the big cousins, they, they should already be there. That's that's the first village. That's the first village. Before you go outside into the, into the greater community, you have to go inside, inside your family bloodline first. But, you know, a lot of people get upset when I say that for some reason. I'm just, all I'm doing is enforcing the importance of the family structure. Because, hey, like I said, a village, a community, is nothing but a collection of families. So if your own family ain't even solid, man, don't even start talking about no goddamn community or a village, man. Listen, your family got to be solid first. That's the building blocks. That's the foundation. Now, let's continue. This person said, people say this in reference to the past, but the healthy communities and villages would force two young people to get married if the woman got pregnant because the community was only helping you if you did things the right way. And exactly. That's my problem with this village talk. The village talk is kind of a cop up for people who don't want to do things the right way. They embrace doing things the wrong way and they hope that the village will serve as kind of like an airbag when they crash out. When they crash, they want the village to serve as an airbag to stop them from smashing their goddamn skull on the windshield and, you know, ending up in a goddamn ICU. That is what they view the village as, an airbag. That's it's a last ditch effort to save me from my pathetic choices in life. Now, let's continue. This person said at the top. They want the village's support on the back end, but they don't want the village's input on the front end. It doesn't work like that. Exactly. 
and the person replied and they said this exactly and what's funny is people that push this narrative they rebel against what they perceive as values of the past they wouldn't even last in the communities they wish existed because those communities will only support you if you abide by conservative values that's a fact that's a fact man listen these modern these modern liberal women that want to do whatever the hell they want to do talking about they want oh we need a village and community and all this shit man you stop stop you don't want none of that you just want to have a good time you just want to have some good sex you just want to you know drink some wine you just want to take some pictures for the gram you don't want no goddamn family responsibilities you don't want to be under any any leadership or structure you just want to do whatever the hell you want to do and hopefully somebody will be there to save you at the end of the finish line and let's continue this lady said Two parent households are more likely to have the extended family slash village that you are talking about. Two sets of grandparents, godparents, aunts and uncles, etc, etc. Sometimes I think we can knock on your heads and it would sound hollow. Exactly. This person said, stop trying to promote single motherhood. Every child needs their father. Get that BS out of here. This person said, the village is meant to complement the natural family, not to replace it. You can't have a healthy community across multiple generations if men are not in their rightful positions, leading their homes as husbands and fathers. The past 60 years have made that crystal clear. This person said, and this tragically prevalent mindset is why the majority of black men I was incarcerated with came from single parent homes. This person said, good luck finding those healthy villagers that you speak of. <laughs> oh man, this person said... <laughs> This person said, you was raised by the lady down the hall while your mom got coked up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And this brother said, what is y'all beef with men? You see, that's what it comes down to, man. That's what it comes down to, man. Because, because they do not want the structure. They do not want the leadership of a decent, competent man, right? They don't want that, bro. They may claim they want that, but they don't want that, man. They don't want that. They don't want that. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, the vast majority of them, they don't want that, okay? They don't want that. And at least they're honest about the fact that they don't want that, at least more and more. You know, brothers, you have to avoid women who do not value the family structure. I know we talk about the divestors and swirlers, and you know we gotta you know you know we gotta stay away from them. You know we gotta keep at least, you know, a hundred feet distance from them. Like, you know, during the pandemic, they said like what 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 the, what they say? Stay like six feet away from each other. Man, you know we gotta stay a hundred feet away from them swirlers and the divestors, man. You know, we gotta stay, we gotta stay far away. But you gotta stay far away from women who do not value the family structure if a woman does not value the family structure don't even waste his time bro end the conversation cut the conversation yo move on delete her number block her number and move on that's what it is man we don't got time to be wasting with a bunch of jump offs because that, that's what they are man jump offs late night rendezvous when you drunk when you high you want to come through and smash for like 45 minutes and then go back home when a woman talks like that that's what she is put her in that category she the late night jump off the late night rendezvous and yeah that's what she is she's not fit mentally to be a matriarch of a family she's not fit mentally to be the wife and the mother of your children okay these are honorable titles when you look at your grandmother you know when you look at your mother these are what you call you know matriarchs they're supposed to be you know beacons of wisdom for the family they're supposed to be models of respect and, and elegance and intelligence you have to choose the right woman to be the matriarch of your family, man. You can't choose a random, you know, a jump off off the street, man. You know, a random skis off the street, man. No, nah, bro. No, no, no. You have to choose a dignified, elegant, intelligent woman, man. Now, anyways, it's your boy Nefakari That's Selene back in the billet. Yes, indeed. Cash up up on the screen. And I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion I left on a horse and came back in that ass And I left with abundance and came back to famine We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping Look how the mighty have fallen Used to be running, now we be walking When you be cooning, that's when they applauded Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter Gotta come up in this shit, they stuck in the mix Really, my heart would be breaking That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business Pass it down in generation Talking about money and power and building a nation That's a deadly combination Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genus Falsifying information now they got malice intentions Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension Enemy watching me blocking my vision Pay for the check cause I need my redemption Building my kingdom, I need it protected Ready for war like a young money Congo Never decided the team is the model Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain And make it ambition, I'm blessed by the gods But I ain't religious, I came for the power They came for the bitch, they make a no hour with it Wedge, I got business, this shit is an art And they can never be taught Selling my soul, I can never be bought Play with my money, I see you in court Run to the check and I do it for sport Babylon falling, I go to the source Packing my luggage and go overseas Shorty be with me and she so at least Shorty be charged and I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence probably gonna murder me Don't fuck with brands cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces